so I feel good today actually it's weird I've been dancing and I don't do that that often this is one song uh, that I'm just flipping over it's it's the energy of it it's not a very it's like a not a meaningful song but it just gets the energy going and I just keep playing it 50 to 100 times <laughs> um, and it's a sunny day and I'm getting ready to go to the library I'm probably gonna upload the videos on this SD card while I'm there while I work on some uh, blogs for Fiverr because I've been neglecting that um, but what made me feel good is um, well I spent time with this guy which is cool very cool but also uh, I um, we're supposed to take care of a lot of emails and I've been neglecting and procrastinating all this business stuff and money that I owe and trying not to go bankrupt and trying to move forward online and get some money going in and see what direction I'm going and just kind of put together without freaking out and um, I took care of one email regarding a loan that was attached to the franchises that I bought which was a lot of money and I finally made the phone call and I returned the email and negotiated half of what I owe which is about the amount of money that the purchaser of one of the franchises he only purchased one, the other two um, I kinda let them go and he you know, so for like nothing, $500 for the equipment. That's how bad it was uh, for me. And um, so I, basically I had just enough money to, I'm like, okay, let's do it, you know. And now I, I'll owe like 50 grand to the bank because I have a credit line or a mar cr mar margin of credit, credit line. Sorry, French, English credit line, um, which is now uh, non-sufficient funds, so I, I'm going to owe that, and government money, and other details. So I'm seeing the light ahead of the tunnel, and I don't think I have to give up the condo, and I might have a little bit of money to eat. So I'm it, it's starting to be a little clearer so I feel good that I accomplished that major thing negotiating that um, it, it helps with my um, morale plus I had a tea on the days I'm not working out which is today um, I can't go caffeine free so I'm becoming a drug addict again in caffeine um, trying to mitigate it but uh, there's no choice and the way I'm rationalizing it is you know people with uh, mental health issues sometimes uh, medication is the way to go so I'm justifying the end through the means or the means to that end um, for now and uh, trying to be aware of that. I mean, people drink coffee all the time. I could say that all the time, but I had stopped for a few years. Because <laughs> it just becomes more and more and more, and the headaches get worse and worse. And just before this, I mean, I, mean, I would stay in bed two days. Because <clears throat> of the headache and not wanting to do anything, so... That's not good. That kind of snowballs the other way, so... The lesser of the two evils is have a tea. So I don't get the headaches and feel down and don't overdo the pre-workout. I have a couple more containers left from the gym that I let go. Anyways, that's that. Just wanted to say that. Uh, I might have to pick up something to eat. Or I might make something now to eat before I go. So that when I go to the library I can stay a few more hours. Yeah, I don't have any spaghetti sauce though. Oh well, small things. Talk to you later.